Okay, uh, this is the project I was working a couple days ago, and now uh, I started to build it, and I honestly didn't know how the start. I mean, this, I believe this is temporarily. Uh, this is not permanent. I mean, the grip is permanent, but I'm probably gonna make it with the stock. Uh, the barrel length is from here to the end is 18, but from where you see this line right here is 17. So actually the barrel is 17 inches long. I don't think I'm, I'm gonna have any problem with that. Um, I haven't tried yet. Uh, very soon I'm gonna try it, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I probably will go ahead and try it tomorrow. Uh, it's brake action. Let me give it a close look here, what I did. Um, this is the, the trigger guard. And uh, the space for the trigger is very, like, exactly. It don't touch the guard, so. That's good. Um, I got that right there. And it holds like this. It's like a pistol, but it's long, so it's going to be a rifle. show you the the I'm gonna show you the brake action um, I built this right here the like a and the this is a little bit hard but I think is it needs to be like that in order to hold the barrel there it is and that's how it is over here in the firing pin um, it has a, a back spring, like to bring the firing pin back. So I think it's going to be good. I tried already with a uh, empty shell just with the powder in there and it, it did explode it, it went but i haven't tried with the live shell or ammo i haven't tried that yet it got everything inside the spring for the for the the hammer uh spring for the trigger uh And that's it, I mean, I weld this pretty good. I weld the the, the bridge and the farm pin has a bolt so the so it don't come all the way out. You don't have any stop right there. And um, I just Stay tuned. I'm going to try it next time for the firing test. Um, it's probably going to be tomorrow. Stay tuned.